From WCVE News in Richmond, I'm John Ogle with a Science Matters report. A startup company headquartered in Richmond uses 100-year-old technology and modern engineering to recharge electric cars without a cable or a plug. Using the same fundamental technology behind a transformer, inductive power transfer, we started thinking about, hey, could we create a wireless charging system for electric cars utilizing that same technology? Evatran in Richmond's Shaco Bottom manufactures a first-of-its-kind wireless electric vehicle recharging station. They call it plugless. And basically what it allows you to do is instead of pulling into your garage and getting out and lugging a cord out, a heavy dirty cord and plugging it in, we allow you to just drive in, park like you typically would, turn the car off, go inside, grab your kids or your groceries if you've got them, and not have to worry or think about charging your electric car. Eva Traun co-founder Rebecca Huff says integrating cordless recharging technology with different models of electric vehicles is their biggest engineering challenge. When you look at a vehicle a minimum change you have to do is around mechanical differences. For instance, what are the brackets that are attached to the car? What are the harnesses, meaning the cables that you wire into the car? How long are those? So that's the minimum change. But in addition to that, there are other pieces like software. How does the software interact with the vehicle? And if the vehicle has different software, we have to adjust our software to that. So depending on how different the vehicles are from one another, um, integration customization is either a small task or it could be a pretty significant task for us. Plugless is a three-part unit, a parking pad with transmitting coil, a control panel that guides you into place, and an undercarriage vehicle adapter. Huff notes electromagnetic induction is nothing new to science. We create a magnetic field between two coils, sometimes matched, sometimes um, different from one another. We create a coil in the, I'm sorry, we create a magnetic field in the transmitting coil, and when we bring the receiving coil, that coil that's in the undercarriage of your electric vehicle, into the magnetic field, it actually induces a current in the secondary coil. Um, this, again, is the same technology that's used in all these other devices. The only difference is we're extending the range of power transfer, and then we're also increasing the power. Evatran makes plugless for the Chevy Volt, the Nissan Leaf, and Cadillac ELR. And next-generation units are in development now for the Tesla Model S and BMW i3. It's a new technology. We're a new company. No one has a lot of confidence in Evatran versus someone like an Apple um, just because they've never heard of us before. So the big thing is when we have a customer who's had our system installed, potentially and had it in use for six months, nine months, some of our oldest customers, and they are talking to their friend and they say, oh, it's the best thing ever. That is, that is how we make a vast majority of our sales right now. Huff says Evatran is in ongoing discussions with a number of major car companies. And we wouldn't be anywhere without any of our engineering team. So we've got uh, about 12 engineers working on the program and I'm constantly telling kids that I'm talking to either in you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, into college, you know, make sure you're thinking about engineering as a profession because certainly if you look at who's having the most fun on a daily basis at our company, engineers would certainly be one of the top groups. John Ogle, Science Matters from WCVE News.